Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Tonight is a really special night. We are um, honoring Christian White, who's a Long Island artist. Uh, for his significant contributions to the arts and culture on Long Island. We recently received one of his works. Um, it's currently on view, Garden Wall, and part of our permanent collection. And so he's part of the museum, and we wanted to take this opportunity to celebrate all he's done as an artist, as an educator, as an individual. Each year we do feature and celebrate the artistic contributions, not only of individuals, but often uh, corporations or other uh, philanthropists, those who contribute mightily to the local cultural scene. Christian is uh, an exceptional, not only artist, but a terrific educator and a uh, consummate uh, communicator. He's just uh, one of the best of the best uh, in terms of representing what is good about the arts and culture in this area. And tonight we're lucky enough to have one of his uh, very close friends and significant patrons, Dr. James Simons, who will actually be giving the award to him. I've been uh, an admirer of Christian's work for uh, probably 25 years. His work generally hits you right between the eyes and uh, most of the time uh, I like that feeling. So, uh, but I can't, aside from the color and uh, really the simplicity, I would say, of his paintings, at least it, it appears simple, I'm sure it isn't. Hexia Museum is uh, an excellent institution. Uh, I have a house on Long Island, uh, so I like to uh, support good things where I live. I want to especially thank Mike Shantz and Nina Moore, um, and Margie Hargraves and Cynthia Jay. It's easy to feel that art is peripheral, peripheral to society uh, because, for instance, when schools cut their budget, the very first thing they cut out is the art budget, um, as if it was the least important thing. It's, it's very nice to be involved with uh, an institution like the Hexer. The longer I live, the more I notice how crucial to general innovation and uh, concepts and problem solving the arts are. Uh, our exhibits have been really terrific uh, and our plans for the future uh, I think will have you all very impressed. We've developed a plan for the next 10 years that are really going to be pretty remarkable. The education program is every day, it, it does wonders, it's amazing. And the exhibits that we put on are, are wonderful. Uh, but the mission that we put together and the vision we've been able to uh, piece together for, for the next 10 years have been really inspiring and, and very promising and I'm really excited to make it into reality. Um, I actually teach at the Metropolitan Museum in Manhattan and I'm just thrilled to be living in the suburbs and enjoying all the things that Long Island has to offer but also have a wonderful museum right in our backyard. The Hexham Museum is at a wonderful year, um, getting accredited by AAM again, and I think that we're on a real roll here um, to making this an even better institution. So I think it's a good time to celebrate and a good time to look for the future. Huntington is a very large place, and when I hear that there are 43,000 children in the school system here, that for me lights my eyes up because I know we have a lot of work to do in terms of our educational programs and educational outreach. We've even redid our mission statement, which pointedly states that we are Huntington's museum first. <laughs>